Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning, August, whatever day it is. I don't know. And uh, this morning, I was on the line with First Commonwealth, the bank, because uh, they had their new banking system up at 8 o'clock. Now, I should have waited, but I went and checked the line, and it was actually live now. And I went to go change my settings and stuff, but all of a sudden, I get locked out of my account, even though I entered my password correctly a bunch of times. And so I call support and I get through and the guy's like, well, the new banking doesn't start until eight o'clock. I was like, well, I went to your site and logged in. And he's like, um, I was like, so should I just wait till after eight o'clock to try? And he's like, yeah. I was like, okay, thank you. I don't really think he was gonna help me anyway, really be able to help me anyways until eight o'clock. And it's kind of probably, yeah, probably my fault that I waited or I didn't wait because I should have just waited until the system officially went live because there might be bugs in it, but I'm probably gonna have to call them back anyways. And so I will try logging in again at eight o'clock, but maybe this is a lesson in patience that I should wait the extra hour or so just so I can log in without any problems. And so today's lesson in the morning is to have patience even when it comes to online banking. What do you mean here we go? Morning. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Steelers did terrible in their preseason game. They got their butts That's whooped. Good. But so not really. They only lost by four points. Season. Yeah, I'd rather have them lose. Do not show the bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom's a mess. I'd rather have them lose, yeah, preseason and win regular season. But really, I'm not like, ah, Steelers! I mean, back in the day, I was a pretty fanatical person. But, I mean, I've kind of mellowed out. It's just like, hey, if they win, yeah, if they lose, eh, not a big deal. But, yeah, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Back in the day, you know, my profile pictures, I had Steelers hat, Heath Miller jersey, all this stuff all over me, Steelers scarf and everything, oven's done, wrapping pizza, but it was crazy. Uh, Mom picked up some stuff at Sam's Club today. She was at Natuna. Picked up a uh, artisan fresh pizza from Sam's Club. These are actually really, really good. It's actually a pretty huge pizza, but that means leftovers for me in summer to take for lunch to work. And so that's good. Also picked up some fresh sweet corn from across the road at home and got some other stuff from home, some frozen vegetables and things and some not frozen vegetables. Straight from the garden, peppers. These are not big um, jalapeno peppers and they are not banana peppers. They're actually like bell peppers, except for they're not like a bell, I don't know. But yeah, got that kind of stuff as well. So tomorrow we're gonna have stir fry. At least that's the plan. We'll see what happens. But tonight, another full schedule once again. Videos being done, sermons being edited and uploaded, and other stuff I'm sure that I'll find. I have a list right here. I made a list. And <laughs> no, I do not forget that I have a wife. But it's summer, got all this stuff at Hobby Lobby, and so she's gonna be doing all these craft things. She got this this paper thing that cuts paper and it's pretty cool. But yeah. She's, work, she's working on some top secret documents I'm not allowed to show anybody, but I showed the paper cutter, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, she got her crafts now, so who knows what that's going to lead to. Craft a Mananza or something like that. What's that mean? But, oh, yeah. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. No, Mr. and Mrs. We're a bit backwards in the picture, but it's okay. It's the okay. picture and the was backwards. It's okay. Oh. Laundry's almost done. That thing beeps like three times a cycle. I don't know why. But yeah, I gotta put this pizza in the oven. That way we can eat. Um, I got on Twitter and um, I was actually talking to my mom at the time. And I looked on Twitter and uh, I saw that Robin Williams has passed away. And uh, it's apparently suicide. And um, it's it's... It's, I don't really know, it's upsetting. Um, you know, celebrity deaths, I mean, it's always a bad thing whenever somebody dies, but usually like celebrity deaths, you know, I hate, I don't want to say that I'm not affected, but like, it doesn't like touch me personally, but I mean, I feel like Robin Williams has been in so many movies that I watched as a child and that he's been an inspiration for many people on YouTube. I mean, I'm looking down on Twitter and I'm seeing all these people um, <clears throat> excuse me, saying that he's been an inspiration for them on YouTube. Um, Lamar Wilson said it. Um, you know, Nick Nick Patera is sharing a picture of the genie in Aladdin. I mean, Nick Patera, if you don't know who that is, he has an amazing voice and he sings and he's done a lot of covers for Disney songs. Um, 
you know, it's different people. Uh, I, I, I mean, every every other post is about it. Um, and so it's obvious that um, he made an effect while he was here. And <clears throat> one of my friends, Andrew High, <clears throat> I mean, I gotta get rid of this cold, or whatever it is. Um, Aldrin, you know, <clears throat> so many other people. Um, and then there's, you know, John from TLD Today saying that, you know, he John lost his dad when he was 18. Um, so anytime he'd watch anything Robin Williams related, it'd always bring him back to good times with his dad because him and his dad used to watch Robin Williams movies when they were younger. Um, and so it's just, what is happening to my computer? It's like freaking out a little bit. And it's just, it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> and I, I just can't understand suicide. I don't know why somebody would do that to themselves. Um, you know, I, I know sometimes there are medical reasons that people are like medically depressed and they do need help. Um, but like, if you ever feel like that, you know, talk to somebody about it. Don't hold it inside. And you know, just because he was always smiling and making people laugh on the outside doesn't mean he was hurting on the inside or holding something back or unhappy about something. But it's just, uh, it's just really upsetting. Um, I mean, I, I like to think of myself as a funny person. And, you know, I mean, I've watched plenty of Robin Williams movies, so I'm sure some of his humor has rubbed off on me as an inspiration. You know, I don't want to be cliche and say, oh, he's inspired me to do this, that, and the other. But, I mean, I find my, I think that I'm a relatively entertaining person. And so, I mean, I've watched so many movies of his, and he is one of my favorite comedian actors. And it's just, it's upsetting that he's gone. I mean, he's only 63 years old. And that he committed suicide, it's just... It's hard to believe, and uh, I mean every other tweet and I see on Facebook, it's just all people just being like they just can't believe it. But yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just one of those. Uh, what can you say? You know, people need to be loved. They need to be shown love. They need to know that they have worth. Um, and so, I mean, before you go making fun of somebody or picking on somebody or just, you know, being rude to somebody, I mean, you just have to think, you know, is that what's going to push them over the edge to do something like that? No, I'm not saying people were bullying Robin Williams or anything, you know. Uh, somebody read somewhere that might have been, like, clinically depressed or something like that. I don't know. But you just have to be conscious about the way you treat people um, because you never know what effect it's going to have on them. But... Um, you know, if, if you are a Robin Williams fan, um, let me know, you know, what your favorite movie of his was down in the comment section below. Um, I really liked Flubber. I thought that was a great movie. And, of course, Aladdin with him being Genie. Um, those are two that really stick out to me. I mean, he's in Jumanji. He was in, um, oh, what was that one? He was in the, the, the Poet Society, the Dead Poet Society, I think it was called, that movie. Um, things like Hook. Night at the Museum, and I say Mrs. Doubtfire, and so many movies, and such a great career, and it's just sad to see him go this early. Good morning, everybody. Uh, sorry I didn't vlog last night after uh, the whole talk about Robin Williams thing, um, and they're still talking about it. It's all over the news this morning, and you know they were saying he was battling addiction with uh, alcohol, and you know. I don't know if they said it like he'd done drugs before his life, but I don't think that was what he was dealing with now. Um, and somebody said, like, I think I read it like he has had a lot of shame about the things that he did. And uh, that's just really upsetting. You know, people, you know, you don't have to have shame. Um, you know, people need Jesus and they need to know that they're loved. And, you know, somebody posted online um, if Robin Williams knew how much he was loved and admired by people in this world, like, you know, he might have done stupid things in his past, but that doesn't matter. People are still gonna love him anyways. And, you know, like, I don't know. People just need to hear it, I guess. But it was all over the news this morning. But I just didn't feel like making videos last night. Um, it just kind of put me in a downer kind of mood. Um, I just grew up watching Robin Williams and all his movies and, you know, Flubber, Aladdin, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire, and it's just, it was just weird, you know. Some people were saying, you know, they tried to watch a Robin Williams movie and they just couldn't because it was just weird and, you know, some people could, but 
I don't know. I just didn't feel like making videos, and it was just, I don't know, weird. But hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, but today is a new day. And so, um, it's still, you know, it's still not cool that it happened. And, you know, I'm sure the family is definitely still grieving. But, you know, it's a new day. Um, have to move forward somehow, at least for those of us not in the immediate family, you know. But uh, I have to go to work. Got to make videos. Got to get back to the grind. It is a. Uh, it's after work, and I'm just sitting here with this light, and you know, it's not very warm outside. Um, it's rather cool, mostly because it rained earlier today. But I'm just thinking, like, summer's pretty much over. Kids go back to school in like two weeks, and summer just seemed to last so much longer when you were a younger kid. I don't know if time is speeding up actually, or if it's just nostalgia, or we're just getting older. Time seems like it's going faster, but I just f remember like long summer days and but now i guess it probably doesn't feel like that because you work most of those days um i don't know it's just weird and it's just something that you know i guess i'm still getting used to it just feels like summer didn't even get here we had one week that was around 90 degree weather and other than that it's been relatively cool this summer and so do you go back to school in a couple weeks um, let me know what time you go back to school or if you even go back to school i'm not i've graduated but i got to go to work every day but also let me know if it's been abnormally cool where you live because it has been up here. It hasn't been as warm as it usually has. And I, I haven't gone swimming all year, like in my parents' pool. I haven't even gone swimming yet this summer. And so hopefully it warms up a little bit so I can at least go swimming like once. In the next episode of Cooking with the Millers, we have Middlesworth chips, which I didn't really cook, but they're the best chips ever. And if we make our way over to the actual stove, we will see that we have an empty pot filled with some green water and some rice. And here, the Tour de France, or something like that. Stir fry, yes, indeed. A little bit of chicken, some, uh, what's that stuff, broccoli, sugar snap, snow peas or something, some peppers in there. Very good. It's very green and white with the chicken. If we had some carrots, you know, we could have made a little bit orange, but I'm ready for some stir fry. I haven't had any in a long time. And then we're featuring some sure fine teriyaki sauce and some sure fine soy sauce that I'm sure will be fine. That's a terrible joke. So you gotta leave your big cutting machine right here. What if I'd step on that and hurt myself? And your phone, and your ice cream bowl. Okay. Leaving all your stuff in here. I can't switch the camera around. Now I can. You just enjoyed a nice little thunderstorm earlier. It was raining and thundering and it was now very I'm nice. Work. Now summer's getting ready to go to work. Yay! Clearly Tyler's happy that I'm going to work. No! I'm just being like, making, not making fun, but like sarcastic because like you're not happy about going to work. But we got to go to work. You got to make money. You got to pay the bills. <laughs> just until, you know, hey, this YouTube thing will take off and then get sponsors and then Summer won't have to work a job. I'll work two jobs, MD, MDL and YouTube until then YouTube really takes off and then I'll just, you know, who knows what will happen then. That's all choices down for the future. And so, yeah, it's not happening today. But if it would happen tomorrow, oh boy, that'd be a lot of choices to make. If I went from, like, on this channel, from 67 subscribers to, like, 10,000 overnight, I might just, like, flip out. I'd probably cry. And then, like, T-Game and Tech going from, like, 3,700 or whatever we're at, 3,400. Actually, what are we at? 3,500? I don't know. Um, to, like... 50,000 and players select gaming from like 4,700 to like 50,000. I'd be like, what? But hey, you never know. But yeah, helping Summer get ready for work now. She has to leave in like half an hour. And our room's full of all kinds of, well, I can't show that activity stuff in case somebody might watch this. That uh, one of these things is going to them card stock things. So can't spoil any surprises. Just card. Card stock. Hey. We could be making letterhead for whenever we send out news bulletin updates that we're buying a mastodon uh -huh. or something. I don't know. I didn't give it away. How about I show everybody what you're doing right there? No. Okay. But stir fry was good in case you were wondering how it was. Uh, I put a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It's Tyler Miller YT like it is on Facebook and Twitter. And yeah. I really have nothing to say. That's a Ooh. great story. It is a great story, but I have nothing to say. Like, I have nothing to say right now. Except for I'm sick and tired 
on my voice giving out after five minutes. Recorded a Minecraft video earlier, I'm like, ugh, coughing. It's annoying, but it's getting better each day. I can talk longer and longer without, like, getting hoarse and, you know. But yeah. each day, each day is getting better. A little bit better. What if I talk like that all the time? That'd be annoying. I'd probably not be around. <laughs> you would be around. You'd probably be somewhere with noise-canceling headphones, so you never have to hear me talk. Oh, well, we need, we need to do something. We have to be productive or something. Plus, I have to do videos. How am I supposed to do videos without a voice? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's time for me to have a little bit of a rant. And this isn't a rant about anybody else. This is more of a rant about me in this room. Um, I have videos I need to get done. And the combination of my throat still being scratchy and the heat of this room is just really providing an atmosphere where I do not want to record anything. Um, we have air conditioning, we have central air, and it does a great job of cooling the apartment down. But I think this computer heats this room up. Like, this computer right here, not my foot, this computer heats this little room up, and it just gets so hot. <clears throat> the vents open, I have a fan circulating air, but I think this computer literally makes this room hotter. Um, and it's obvious, I mean, I've searched stuff on the internet and it's saying, you know, yeah, your computers in your studio is gonna make your studios hot. And plus I have the lights on, I have like 5,000 things plugged in, monitors, modems, microphones, TVs. Usually I have some of that stuff unplugged. But it's just creating a very not good atmosphere for production. Um, whenever I first start the day, I come in here, it's very cool, it's very comfortable. But as soon as I turn my computer on, not much later, it starts to get really hot. And so that's why I only really record my videos on Saturdays, because I record them in, like, in the early afternoon when it's still cool in here. And it's not a problem. But like it's just so hot in here that as soon as I turn on those lights, I'm going to start sweating on camera and be all red-faced, and it's just not a good thing. And so <clears throat> I'm going to have to really up my game on the weekends and make it a priority to get my, <clears throat> my T-Game and Tech videos done on the weekends. Um, you know, I did one last weekend, but I need to make sure I get two done. Um, one for that day, and then one for the Wednesday following. And even if I get three done, that would be awesome. Um, just to get three done, that way I, I have a week in advance done. But I just need some solutions to cooling this room off in a quick way. Um, and I've looked, you know, online, there's some like $15 do-yourself air conditioners and, you know, you can um, set up like a laundry drying rack, put a, some wet towels on it, put a fan on it and blow it in. But I just really haven't got around to trying that. But it doesn't help that it's 10 p.m. And I really don't feel like being on camera. I just want to relax. My body says, hey, it's 10, relax. You know, I will do an occasional gaming video. Those aren't really that hard to do because, you know, I don't have to be on camera. I just have to talk. But... I don't know, it's just, it's really frustrating because I have videos I want to get done, but I just, comes 10 o'clock, I don't feel like doing them. And it's not good uh, because that means no videos, no views on the other channel. These are a lot easier because I can just sit down and record. T Game and Tech, I got to set up the, I have the camera set up, but I have to turn on the lights, set up the lights, make sure the exposure is right and the whatever color temperature, get the microphone set up, but plug it in, make sure it's working right, make sure this thing don't turn on because if I put it on sleep, half the time it wakes up by itself. Make sure I'm in focus, and it's a long drawn out process, and it's a half an hour until I even get started recording. But I don't know. I hate to sound like I'm making excuses because I actually am, but I just need to figure out some way to keep this room cooler. Um, and I thought about, you know, I want to do some streams, some charity streams. There's no way I can do them in this room. Like 24 hours in this room with this computer on <clears throat> and people in here. There's no way. It'd be like 90 degrees. So. I don't know, I gotta figure something out. If you guys have any suggestions, any little tricks that you use to keep your rooms cool or like your studios cool, I'm definitely open to hearing them. So, uh, plus I gotta finish off this vlog, so this is a good chance for you to do that as well. And so we talked about a lot of things in this vlog. Um, talked about, you know, Robin Williams uh, passing, um, this rant, um, stir fry. <laughs> I really can't remember what else we talked about. But I think it was a pretty good vlog. And the weekend vlog was actually pretty good too. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. Um, but it was good. And so, yeah. That's all going to be all. That's all going to be all. That's all I have for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all the social links. They're all in the description below. Leave all your comments and your opinions down in the comments below. Uh, for any questions that I've asked about this vlog. And that's all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.